हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लाइट अप नॉलेज एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू टुडेज वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल कवर एडवर्ब क्लॉजेस दिस विल बी अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू एडवर्ब क्लॉजेस देर इज़ अ सेपरेट प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ क्लॉजेज इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ऑन माई चैनल द लिंक ऑफ विच विल भी अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एन एडवर्ब क्लॉज लेट us first understand what is an adverb what is the true meaning of adverb so an adverb is a word that modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb see basically when you are doing modifications means you are adding adding something to the meaning of verb adjective or another adverb so basically an adverb is a word which tells us something more about a verb an adjective or even another adverb if you look at this example here the first one is she stitches beautifully she stitches beautifully okay so here uh, the verb stitches okay so basically the verb stitches is a verb here and the word beautifully is telling us more about the verb so here um, the uh adverb is uh, beautifully and uh, it is describing more about the verb stitch similarly you have another example she is very tall so here tall tells us what she is like but very tells us how tall how tall is she okay which is a pronoun so very tells us more about tall which is an adjective therefore very is an adverb because it is telling us something about uh, the adjective tall all right so i i hope you understood what an adverb is an adverb is a word which modifies or it adds something to the meaning of a verb verb is an action word adjective is a describing word it describes a noun or a pronoun or either it will tell us more about an adverb only so let us now uh, understand uh, what do we mean by adverb clauses let us now understand adverb clauses a clause that functions like an adverb in a sentence is called an adverb clause so when a clause functions like an adverb means it functions as either modifying an adjective a verb or another adverb that means it's doing the work of an adverb so whenever in a clause which is functioning like an adverb in a sentence that is an adverb clause if you see these examples here on his return we asked vinod many question the next sentence is when he returned we asked vinod many questions so in both these sentences the highlighted expressions modify the verb asked these expressions tell us the time at which uh, we know uh, was asked many questions so therefore uh, they are functioning as an adverb okay both of uh, these um, are functioning as an adverb uh, the difference is one is phrase and the other is the clause in the first sentence the expression on his return on his return does not have a finite verb does not have either a subject therefore it is a phrase since it is acting like an adverb it will be an adverb phrase but on the contrary if you look at the second example when he returned we asked vinod many questions right so in the second sentence the expression when he returned has a subject he it has a finite verb return so therefore it is an adverb clause okay so therefore it is functioning as an adverb in a clause therefore it is an adverb clause so i hope you understood the meaning of an adverb clause and the basic requisite of um, uh, 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 a basic requisite of a group of words becoming a clause is that it should have a subject and it should also have a finite verb and whenever you, a clause is functioning like an adverb in a sentence that will be an adverb clause which means that it will modify a verb an adjective or another um, adverb in the sentence 
us spot the basic difference between an adverb clause and an adverb phrase. As I have told you a lot of times uh, in this playlist that uh, there is a basic difference between a clause and a phrase. A phrase is a group of word, it is meaningful but it does not have a finite verb or a subject which is possessed by a clause, right. So, you should easily spot the difference between the two. Let us read the examples. They were very grateful to her for her generosity. The second example is they were very grateful to her because she was generous, okay. The part in italics for her generosity and the second part in italics because she was generous absolutely mean the same in the context. But the basic difference is gram in grammatical structure one is a clause and the other is a phrase. If you see the first part in italics, it does not have a finite verb, it does not have a subject that means it is an adverb phrase for her generosity. The next example is because she was generous, she is a subject here and you have a finite verb was therefore, it is an adverb clause. So, that is the basic difference between adjective phrase and an adjective uh, sorry adverb phrase and adverb uh, clause. So, yes guys that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and you found it useful. If you did please like share and subscribe to my channel. Keep learning and keep growing.